The best way to see how easy it is to use Hub and what we've accomplished is for us to do a quick demo. What we're going to do is we're going to take a computer and connect up to a Hub account, download a bunch of existing data, and then see how it works to get more sessions as they come in. So the first thing to do, we're going to go ahead and click on the Start page, which on the right-hand side here, we have this new option to connect to a Gibraltar Hub. Once we select that, we have a choice of what type of hub we want to talk to. In this example, we're going to go ahead and just talk to the Gibraltar Hub service. This is the software service option that's available under a subscription basis. To connect up to this, all we need to know is our account name and the shared secret for that account. Once we've provided this information, we'll go ahead and click Next, and it'll establish a secure connection between this computer and the hub. Now that we've established the connection, you'll notice in the lower pane that it's starting to load session data in the background from the hub. In fact, you'll see a little notification pop up whenever there's new data available. It will continue to load that data in the background, and you'll see it pop in here as it comes down. Let's go ahead and click on the new sessions list and see what data it's downloaded from the hub. So another important characteristic of the hub is we wanted to make sure it could enable not just customer service scenarios, but customer experience improvement programs, or CEIPs. A key distinguishing characteristic of a CEIP is that you'll have a lot of sessions coming from a lot of different locations, many of which shouldn't have any errors at all. We want to make sure that that information can get gathered from the end users of your application and brought to the development team with no manual effort required by either party. Now I'm going to go over to my laptop where I have another application that's already configured to be monitored by Gibraltar. Now I've run this application several times offline and now I'm going to run it once with the network available. What you're not seeing is it in the background automatically packaging up the data and submitting it to the hub. If we look back at my main window, you'll see now I get a notification that there are six new sessions available and some of them have errors. Let's go click on today and see these sessions that we just downloaded. You can see that there's a warning session, two that crashed, and this last one has an error. Let's go ahead and drill into that. To view just the errors, let's go ahead and group by error and caption, bringing the errors to the top. And there you have it. Everyone on your team can get all of the logs from all of your users with no effort and then be able to perform not just customer service, but deep analysis to understand what's working well, what's in use, and where your problems are. Thanks for listening.